As customers, all of us experience an interaction when we uh, either speak or engage with an organization that we have a relationship with. And more often than not, we end up with, a, with an experience where we feel that the experience would have been much, much better, right? Every time a customer interacts with an enterprise through any channel, they leave a lot of footprint uh, with each interaction. And uh, enterprises are having a very big problem in trying to understand how to gather that data, how to make sense out of that information, and how do they uh, provide a much better experience to their, uh, to their customers. It uses one of the three following aspects to define and predict why a customer is interacting. The first one uh, is an event-based uh, prediction. So if you're using a credit card in a merchant store and it gets declined, and in the next 15, 20 minutes you call, you're probably calling to inquire about that failure, right? So it's, it's pretty easy to find that out and, and offer that as a service upfront, then making you go through several steps in, in the system. The second type of prediction we do is based on your behavioral patterns. So let's say you pay your bills for your credit card uh, during the last two days of the billing uh, period, and that happens to be your behavioral trend. And the next time you call during the same time, we offer you that option. The third uh, way it works is it has a, a machine learning capability where it can find out trends and then figure out what a customer is likely to do in future. Uh, and you can have a set of metrics and rules that define how uh, that particular workflow has to trigger. So let's say, let's say for an example, uh, if a customer's effort in the last few interactions has been more than 60%, in a, in a scale of zero to hundred percent, right? And uh, if if he constantly speaks for a longer time than an average consumer of that particular category speaks, then he's likely to be distressed and he's likely to have a similar conversation this time. So how can you provide a better servicing agent to that customer so that he can actually have a conversation with that person?